not responsible. Well, with me is Mohammed Taha from BBC Arabic. So, Mohammed, welcome to the program. There are a lot of developments over the past few days. Different countries trying to use the sea now as a route to get aid into Gaza. Just tell us a bit more about where we stand on this this weekend. Yeah, everybody's optimistic about this, this sea corridor that uh, is uh, planned to be done by international effort. But as the EU said, this will not be enough to, uh, to provide enough aid to uh, the people who are starving uh, in Gaza. Now we are seeing every day uh, at least 20 people dying from malnutrition and from lack of food in Gaza. And this route is unlikely to provide them with what they need with the approach of the month of Ramadan after only two days. And we saw the, the fail of parachuting that happened. We saw uh, firing on, refuge, uh, on refugees who are uh, queuing to, to get aid in Al-Kuwait uh, roundabout in Gaza. So uh, actually uh, 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 rushing to get the aid, whether by air, by, uh, by, uh, by queuing to get the aid, or waiting on the sea is causing even more death to the Palestinians. And we see that the UAE, the United Arab Emirates, is joining this initiative together with the EU, the UK and the US. But generally in the region, what are different countries' views on getting aid into Gaza? Actually, the view is there is no way to provide enough aid to Gaza unless Israel would allow unlimited access to aid trucks uh, by land to get into Gaza. This is the view of the uh, countries in the region. This is the view of Joseph Porel, the top uh, EU diplomat, that he said uh, this maritime route would not provide enough uh, and the air also uh, dropping is causing threat and is not enough. And unless a land, uh, unlimited land access would happen, uh, these problems would, would, would continue. And, and this uh, land access wouldn't happen without posing fighting or ceasefire. So this is the situation in Gaza, but in the West Bank, the other Palestinian territory, continued reports of violence there. Yes, this is causing also uh, lots of threats in the West Bank because uh, normally Israel would allow uh, worshippers to cross from the West Bank to, Jer to Jerusalem to do the night prayer during the month of Ramadan. Netan Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israel Prime Minister, said that he is willing to, to, to allow Palestinians to cross during the first week of the month of Ramadan. But there, there is an incident happened last night where seven uh, Israelis Israelis were injured uh, in, in, in an incident and the, the, the rising uh, tensions there because of the approval of more settlements in the West Bank uh, and the uh, Israeli incursions, arrests and, uh, and operations there causing tensions. So we don't know how the, the, uh, the, the situation would progress across the month of Ramadan. Mohammed Taha, thank you so much for joining us on the program. Thank you, Catherine. Well, let's speak to 